Kowalski, what are you looking at in the late night game, 10 o'clock Eastern between the Oklahoma City Thunder and not your Los Angeles Clippers? Yeah, now I have to be honest with you guys. I'm always honest, but I like to tell people when I, you know, when I come on here and talk about wagers or bets, I usually have them in my pocket already. This is one that I don't have in my pocket just yet, but I'm considering. And that is the Oklahoma City Thunder side. They did just play versus the Lakers last night. Um, another game where I don't think the Stars played too many taxing minutes for OKC. And this is a Thunder team that's extremely young. Like You don't see a whole lot. This is one of the few teams in the league where you look at the injury report and you won't see guys on there on most nights. That's the same case <laughs> for tonight. Um, I'm expecting them to all, all have the energy and effort to go out here in a game that means a lot. The standings for the West between one through four, they're separated by three games. Um, if I'm not mistaken, the Timberwolves just passed them with the win over the Clippers. And, you know, the Clippers only two games behind them. All of these games matter. They put in so much work to get, you know, top of the standings so far this season. I don't think they'll take it for granted and, and not show up in this game. This is also OKC's role. They're 6-2-1 and one as a road dog. They play very well versus competition this season. When I talk about competition, I mean greater than 55% win teams. They're 13-4-1 against the spread there. And if you're worried about an unrested Thunder, Thunder team, they've been great there too. They've covered four out of five. So all of those things I like. If you look at how these teams have been playing lately, I mean, both have been good. Clippers have been good too. But Thunder, top five offensive rated and defensive rated team. And they've been the better defensive and rebounding team over the Clippers. And if they can do those things tonight, even on a back-to-back, -back, they can keep it respectable if not win the game. So there's nothing you said that I disagree with uh, <laughs> at all in that concept, in your analysis. My only concern, I guess, with the OKC side is how good the Clips have been off a loss. I mean, they haven't lost a whole lot of games. And they're coming off a game in Minnesota where they rallied from behind, made things interesting late, weren't able to uh, overcome uh, the early deficit that they had uh, fallen into in that ballgame. And now they're coming off a loss. Do you worry at all about the Clips? Who are, I mean, they've really played good basketball since, what, about the beginning of December. Awful loss. Is that a team you worry about stepping in front of? They do play really great basketball and just as big of a spot as it is for the Thunder, you know, it's a big spot for the Clippers too. They want to climb those rankings. So I do think you'll get great effort from their side as well. But the thing I have going for me here, Teddy, is the Thunder don't even have to win this game. They just have to stay within the margin. So, yes, the Clippers can win off of a loss, just don't win in a blowout fashion. And I'm, I'm pretty confident in that. 